Hello to all the students and welcome to Supporting Learners. You are watching the part 17 of chapter 8 of class 11 biology that is cell, the unit of life. And the topic for today's video is plasmodismata. Now this video is going to be a short video but I wanted to cover this term plasmodismata in a separate video because it's a very important term when it comes to plant cells. So start karte aaj ke video ko aur baat karte hai plasmodismata ke baare mein. So in the video, we talked about the cell wall and we discussed about the layers of cell wall which are the primary layer, secondary layer and the tertiary layer and we also talked about the middle lamella. So the cell wall and middle lamella may be transversed by structures called plasmodesmata which connect the cytoplasm of neighboring cells. This line we understand through this diagram. So, this yellow color ki yahan par aapko layer dikh rahi hai, this is the layer of middle lamella. Aur gray color ki jo aapko layer dikh rahi hai, this is the layer of the primary cell wall. These are the depositions of secondary cell wall and this is the protoplasm of the cell. Aur ye jo structure hai, ye hai plasmodesmata. So, you can say that the cell wall and the middle lamella, they are transversed by plasmodesmata. Transversed ka matlab hai ki ye plasmodesmata cross kar raha hai cell wall or middle lamella ko. And what is this plasmodesmata doing? This is connecting the cytoplasm of the two neighboring cells. So, the pla so this plasmodesmata is nothing but the cytoplasmic strands, ya fir aap keh sakte ho, channels ya connections between the cytoplasm of the two neighboring cells okay so each living cell in a higher plant is connected to its living neighboring cells by these cytoplasmic strands which are called the plasmodesmata or plasmodesmata it is only found in plant cells and also the algal cells okay algae may be pai jate hai, but these are not found in animal cells so, plasmodesmata ke kuch functions ke baat karte hai. So, jaise ki maine bataya ki plasmodesmata they act as tunnels. So, yahan par agar hum dekhe to plasmodesmata they are acting as the tunnels which is connecting the cytoplasm of the neighboring cells. So, pehli baat to ye hai ki communication mein help karte hai. Dekho, ek cell apne neighboring cells se communicate karta hai with the help of these structures called plasmodesmata. And second of all, they help in the transportation. Substances like proteins and other chemicals, they are actually transported between the two cells by these connections called the plasmodesmata. So, if we have two functions here, the first function will be intercellular communication. Intercellular means between two cells. So, first they help in intercellular communication. And second, they help in transportation of substances. Transportation of substances between the neighboring cells. Okay. And a very important transport pathway in plants, mein, which is very unique to plants. That is called the symplastic transport. Very, very important. This plants is a unique type of transport. Hai. Water ka transport is in this pathway. Se. They call roots go water they do so roots may roots kid layers may work as a move karta hai water this is explained by the transport pathway called the sim plastic transport or is transport may help karte hai plasmodesmata so yaha par agar am dekhe ki ye do cells hai which are connected by the plasmodesma plasmodesma is singular and plasmodesmata is plural so this is a plasmodesma and basically, the cells may cytoplasm mein, that is not stationary, that is moving. Wo move kar raha hai and exchange ho raha hai between the two cells. So, here, water ka transport hota hai, so water basically moves along with the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm moves kar raha hai, uske along water saath saath move karta ja raha hai, and it is getting transported from one cell to the other cell. So, this pathway is known as the symplastic pathway. Symplast is nothing but it is a cytoplasmic connection. It is a living connection between the two cells by the means of the plasmodesmata. Okay. So, during this symplastic pathway, water travels through the cells. It is specifically water ke transport ka pathway hai. Or, jo water ki movement hai, intercellular movement that is from one cell to the other cell that is through the plasmodesmata. So, symplastic 
ट्रांसपोर्ट पाथवे में प्लाज्मोडिसमेटा का बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल है सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट प्लाज्मोडिसमेटा लेट अस सॉल्व सम एम सी क्यूज रिगार्डिंग दिस टू टेस्ट वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो एंड राइट दी आंसर्स इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द साइटोप्लाज्मिक कनेक्शन फ्रॉम सेल टू सेल आर नोन एज ए मिडल लैमिला बी प्लाज्मोडिसमेटा सी सेल मेम्ब्रेन सिस्टम एंड डी एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम You can pause the video, think about the answer, and write the answer in the comment section. Question number two: Plasmodesmata are a lignified cemented layers between cells, b locomotory structures, c membranes connecting the nucleus with plasma lima, and d connections between adjacent cells. Question number three: Which one of the following structures between two adjacent cells is an effective transport system? A plasma lima, B plasmodesmata, C plastokinones, and D endoplasmic reticulum. And the last question number four: Plasmodesmata connections help in A cytoplasmic streaming, B synchronous mitotic division, C locomotion of unicellular organisms, and D movement of substances between cells.